back to the Half Soy Bean channel. My name is Sharon and today we have such an exciting video. I am making a jacket today as you would have seen. Today's video is sponsored by a Korean fabric company called Chun Kage and they have sent me really cute fabric and I've been dying to open this actually. It's so cute. On the package it says Shimkung Jui, which literally is like be careful of getting a heart attack. But like the context is it's so cute, so beware. I think that's kind of how we should understand it. Not really in the literal sense. So they kindly sent me this adorable pre-quilted fabric. Look at it, it's got these smiley faces on it and it's a green gingham print. Honestly guys, this whole website is literally as they say be careful of getting a heart attack because all of their stuff is so adorable and I actually had such a hard time choosing my final fabric because there were just so many options that you could choose from. I did get two meters of this beautiful beautiful fabric so before we get started I just want to tell you a little bit about this brand. They are called Chungage, as I mentioned, and that literally translates to fabric store in English. So the website URL is just the romanization of Chungage. So what this company does is that they design and produce their own fabrics and they have such a wide selection of designs, as I mentioned, and you can use them for anything. Like you can make clothes, you can make accessories, bags. They even have a range of waterproof fabrics, so you can use them as as like tablecloths or you can make like little drink bottle bags and it's all very adorable and I was browsing on this website for probably an hour straight just from the fabric they've sent me it seems like their stuff is pretty awesome quality and also reasonably priced and you can also find embroidered fabrics you can find printed ones plain ones quilted ones and also organic fabrics I'm so excited to make it into a jacket but you can use some of their fabrics for even bedding and you can make home accessories, just anything you really want. So basically, if you want some cute fabrics to add to your collection or make something, go check out Chungage because they have such a huge selection and you can make pretty much anything you want to match the aesthetics of your home or you can make clothes, you can make bags, you name it. For my pattern, I'm going to be using and extending on a pattern that I already made last year for my teddy jacket video. And I talk about that jacket a lot, but it's because it's so easy to make and also it's one of my favorite makes ever. So, you know, that's why I mention it a lot, but I'm also basing today's pattern on what I made at that time. I'm just going to add a few more bits and bobs like a collar and internal panels but I'll show you which pattern pieces you need in little sketches but I'll also share how you can trace an existing jacket that you have to get the base pattern pieces that you need. Okay so how to trace an existing jacket. So you can use like a denim jacket, a dressing gown, a t-shirt, pretty much anything really to create your base pattern and firstly what we want to do is fold it in half and this is the front got the buttons here and what you want to do is just have like a piece of paper under your jacket and trace around this shape where you will need to trace is here the shoulder line you can fold it over your sleeves and kind of get the right curve here trace that curve and then down the side here down the bottom and also down the front and don't worry about the collar for now. What you would want to do is just get where under the collar is and trace around that curve. It would look something like this. Then you want to turn your jacket the other way, so backwards. And same thing, we want to trace the armhole, the armhole curve. And then you want to trace the shoulder and then trace the back of the neckline, down the back, bottom and side. For your sleeve, you just want to lay it out like this and trace down here, down here, 
and also the curve here. And I want to note that sometimes the front and the back have different curves. So if you can copy that exact curve, then go for it. But if you're a beginner and you're not really sure how to do that, you can just make it symmetrical and it should be okay. Like you can adjust as you so, and it doesn't have to be a huge ordeal if you can't get the exact curves. The outer part of the jacket is literally just what we covered in tracing our existing jacket. So we have the front piece, the back piece, and the sleeve piece. And you'll need two of the sleeve, cut the back on the fold, so just the one of the back, and two front pieces. Now for the lining pieces, which we'll call the inner pattern, everything is pretty much exactly the same. So the sleeves are the same, the back is the same, only the front is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and duplicate that front pattern since the shape of it is going to remain exactly the same. But we want to draw a curve from the middle of the shoulder length down to the bottom. And we're essentially cutting down that curve to create two pieces. So the larger part in pink, you want to cut in your lining fabric and the other part you want to cut in your pretty fabric. Firstly, this is the exact same back pattern that I used for my teddy jacket, it still says teddy back on it, and I have my teddy front. Then we have the panel, which should be cut in our nice fabric, and this should be exactly the same pretty much as what's behind it, and this is for our lining fabric. So it should still be the exact same pattern piece as the front. We've just cut a line through it. And then I've also got my sleeve pattern. I made mine just symmetrical. It shouldn't matter too much as long as it lines up with these shoulder curves here. There's also my pocket pattern that I use all the time. I will be adding in a pocket to this jacket and it's actually my first time trying to self draft a collar pattern so I'm not going to worry about that just yet because I feel like that comes later in the sewing process anyway so I'm going to think about it later because this is what I know at the moment. Alright so I've got three types of fabric with me. I've got my quilted smiley face and then I've got a lining fabric in a cream. This is just your regular polyester lining. And now I am going to cut my pattern pieces from all of my fabrics. So I'm just going to fold my fabric right sides together. So you can see that this fabric is designed by Chongage and it is also made in Korea. <laughs> Now I want to cut that inner panel of the jacket as well. And now I'm going to cut the back piece. Time to cut the pockets. I want to cut four of these. Okay, now this is my lining fabric and I'm just going to cut the back piece first. And now I'm going to cut the inner lining. Cutting the sleeves. The first thing that I want to do is, this is my front panel and I'm going to attach the pockets first. So I just want to put them down right sides together, so along this edge. I've gone ahead and sewn that and now it looks like this and I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other side facing right sides together and sewing along that line. So now we have these inner panel pieces and I'm gonna connect them to the polyester lining. This side 
it should connect like this connect like this so what we want to do is just connect them right sides together like this we want to sew like this 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 and along the curve like that and then once that's sewn together i just want to snip some of these seams so that it bends a bit more nicely so when we open it up it looks like this this is our back piece like we did to the front two pieces i'm gonna attach the pockets and i'm gonna do one here so down there and then one on the other side all right so we are at the point where we've got our back piece pockets done looks like this we've also got our side pieces done and what i'm going to do is line up the shoulder seams there and that is here so down here and here now we have a kind of a vest looking thing and what we want to do is open it up like this we'll be able to see this sleeve curve we are going to attach this to this shoulder edge and what we want to do in order to do that is just sew that down right side together like this all the way to the other side all right just need to close the armholes under there and that'll be it for the outer part of the coat pretty simple oh my god i love it it's so cute <laughs> close off the shoulder um sorry not the shoulder the armpit seam and down the side of the coat and around the pockets like this so there around the pocket up to the corner and down the armpit so far it's looking like this we've got pockets okay so assembly of the lining is pretty similar to what we did with the outer piece so we've got our back lining we already made these inner pieces lay them right sides together and also here so those shoulder seams once again same thing once again with the sleeve of the lining we just want to attach it to the thing that we just put together. So I've just layered the inner lining and the outer together when it kind of opens up. And now we have to figure out the collar. Um, kind of don't know what to do. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty happy with the rest. Alright, so I've just folded this jacket in half so I can start drafting a collar and I'm not entirely sure how this would turn out. I just want to start by tracing this curve and doing like a straight line down there, something like this. The initial paper thing I did was a little bit off so instead I put it on my mannequin and I kind of just placed the paper on like the top of the shoulder part so I know that it's gonna follow the correct curve and obviously I marked the center point there so that my collar I can cut on the fold and it's just a really simple kind of Peter Pan collar that I'm going to cut out in this green fabric. So we've got our two collar pieces cut out and now I'm just going to sew along this edge around the outside and to here. I'm not going to sew inside. 
only the outer edges. I've now flipped it all inside out so it's the right way and I'm just going to do a basting stitch along the inner line just to hold the fabric together. This is what it looks like once it's been basted. So now it's just a collar that's been put together and I'm gonna try and attach it to the jacket which is sitting right there. Okay, so I've pinned the collar to the jacket just on the right side and I'm going to baste that down as well. I have basted the Peter Pan collar onto the jacket and now we're going to get the lining piece which is this and put it down right sides together and we're going to sew this neckline down wedging the collar in between the outer part of the jacket and the lining so i'm going to do that around the whole edge down the side of the jacket as well Basically how we do this sleeve is I've flipped it inside out so the sleeve's gone in and then this inner sleeve's gone in as well and we're actually working on it in between the inside of the lining and the outer part and what I did is I sewed a circumference around the sleeve so that it becomes this tube essentially and then when we flip it the right way so let me just grab the sleeve bring it out then we have a wonderful lined sleeve and I just need to give it a press so it's nice and crisp lastly I'm just going to finish off the jacket by hemming the bottom inside out and we'll flip it the right way once we finish. I've got these snap buttons that I want to put on my jacket because I think it's too thick to put buttonholes in the machine. I already broke like two needles trying to sew through that. Mark where the button should actually go. This part should go on the part that's behind I think and it, I'll press down the button like this right. I'm not sure but I think I'll just have to hand sew these on. So I've got some extra spare pieces of fabric. So I'm thinking I could actually make a mask for myself. This is just a pattern I got from somewhere. I've been reusing this for, I don't know, close to two years now, I guess. I'm gonna make it out of this fabric and line it with the same stuff I lined the jacket. I just sew it along with this curve and when you open it up it's like this very cute and I'm going to do the same step on my lining fabric so then you want to place your two layers right sides together and I've got a elastic that I recycled from a disposable mask I wore um, I've been collecting the elastics actually <laughs> and what you want to do is on the right side just wedge that in there oh no it wants to focus on my face so you want to wedge it on here like this and then sew along there a straight line to hold the elastic in place mostly gone around the whole mask but you want to leave a small gap so that you can flip everything the right way out. Now 
we're just gonna flip everything out through this hole. And now we want to do a top stitch around the edge so we can close off that hole that we flipped. And with this top stitching, this is what it looks like all the way around. today's video thank you so much for watching and also a huge thank you to Changage for sponsoring today's video if you're interested in finding cute and affordable fabrics then please check out their website which will be linked in my description box and I'll see you very soon in the next video bye